YouTube land. I don't know what happened to my game. There, there it goes. I think it's because I hit something else on the other side. Don't worry about all that. YouTube land was good. It's your boy be here at AK Brian, AK Prince, AK Prince with you about the hating. If you're struggling in yellow rank or orange rank, I'm going to show you how I got to red rank. And I'm going to just break down the film and my thought process. And if you play Reyna, I can help you to the best of my abilities. I'm still getting coaching myself. Shout out to my homeboy, JBs, who's really a, a tech and guru when it comes to the second shit. And it's been helping me. I do have a video coming about my thoughts and opinions on Tekken as like a newbie to Tekken, like Tekken 8 being my first serious Tekken. Pageants is not looking too good. Um, I think this was uh, maybe Saturday ago now that I decided to play Tekken and I decided to lock in. It, it's easier for me to play Tekken when I'm not uh, streaming or, or making a YouTube video about it because I can just really focus and, and play. Uh, I'm going to add audio or music this whole time because I ain't going to lie. The, the audio in this is not important because I think you hear my TV in the background. And you hear me talking to people in the background. But without further ado, let's get into some of these matches. Now, it's not going to be all my matches of my journey. It's going to be some of them because uh, I think it only records the last yeah, eight or so minutes when I hit record. And sometimes something has to happen for me to hit record, I guess, if you will. Uh... So yeah, my first match was against a uh, uh, Captain Falcon, uh, Paul, and I ain't gonna lie, Paul it has been like one of the demon characters for me. Kazuya is number one on my list as far as demon characters of like who I really can't fight or fuck with. But I'm starting to learn the Paul matchup uh, a little bit better. And one thing I like to do as far as like random players for a start, it's probably a bad start. You know what I'm saying? Because most people back dash at the start, but down forward two goes so fucking far for Reyna that I'm just like, F it. I, if I press it, I usually catch him because they're trying to backdash or whatever. Or like, I think here he tried to do a power crush and look, caught it. Then I always do one, 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 ones plus that forward fours plus that low move. I feel like I could have punished it there, but that that stuff is so good. Caught my hell sweep there. Go for the throw. That's one thing I'm noticing about my game that could either like not hurt me or well, hurt me, but help me at the same time is uh i go for throws a lot and once i start attacking i kind of get screwed and then yeah this combo right here paul just hurts bro that's that's one of the reasons i'm so scared to fight against pauls he just hurts i really don't know like a part of me from playing like guilty gear and playing uh mortal kombat one i kind of hate breakers but a part of me is also like damn they can put me down <laughs> so i guess i gotta learn like more optimal and uh Better combos than that 4 4 2 into the, the Sentai 3. So good. I like going for power crushes against the wall just because they're stuck against the wall. Like, what are you going to do? And, like, I think one thing I'm telling myself here and something that I try to do for my mindset oh, that's a punish. That's a better punish than that. Is, uh, I like to tell myself that, uh, one goes into two. And it's just a little, like, dumb saying I say to myself so that uh like i can lock in if i could get one round i could get two rounds if i get two rounds i get three rounds you know what i'm saying and that, like that's something simple that i tell myself that actually works a lot mm. yeah see i go for like i said i go for throw bro i i am a throw merchant i ain't gonna lie if i can't throw them i, I get exposed <laughs> uh try to mix it up here a little bit i get a lot of good pressure with the one one but i need to do more with one one and i think i just butched the combo there because i know how to do that i think it's forward forward no it's forward four no forward three down forward three two four and then he didn't want to run the setback unfortunately that's the one thing i do hate about Tekken. but i understand it like now that i'm like playing Tekken. And like getting higher up in ranks, I understand because the take the Tekken ranking system, like points wise, is so nasty. They need to fix that. I'm not gonna lie. This Yoshi Mitsu, bruh. This nigga was doing uh you'll maybe you'll see it. I don't know, because I think this only recorded the first game. But he was doing uh like his forward one plus two throw, and I couldn't break it. I swear to you, I was hitting because I have a macro for a one plus two, and I was not getting that macro for nothing. Oh, that shit was hurting my soul. One thing I will say is like when I get like a heat engager, whether it be uh 443 or it be um like 
four four three or if I'm doing Sentai four, um, or if I'm doing like Heaven's Wrath two, like I'm pretty good at mixing it up once I actually run at them. And this is I haven't really fought a lot of Yoshimitsu's. Like I think I fought maybe two or three at, at this current time. So by fighting only two or three, I I did not have the matchup knowledge of what he liked to do, and that shit was fucking me up too. Like those little hops in there. I don't know if I punish. I don't think I punished it in this game. And I don't know if I punished it for the set, but like when he was I, like, if there's any, uh, if there's any great, um, random players in the comment section or just players in general, what do you do when like, like shit like this case in point, like, what do you do when, when a Yoshi Mitsu is in there? Um, please let me know down below. And I, I guess another thing that I, I could say of like, well, Prince, you just over here talking about your gameplay. You ain't say shit about how to get to red ranks. Mix-ups, depending like whatever your character is good at. If your character is good at mix-ups, Serena does have amazing mix-ups. For as hard as it is to get to, you know, certain low things or or because she doesn't have like a not off the top of my head, she doesn't have really like a, like a true string to where she could go into her lows and get in her bag. She she has like the ten hit combo, but it's just like it's a ten hit combo, right? Um, so utilizing uh, mix-ups for Serena and then plus frames. Holy shit! Like I don't know a lot of what a person wants to do. But if you could go into plus frames and then go into your mid or whatever, because some people like to duck, some people expect a low, like a hell sweep or whatever. Like if you could utilize your plus frames into like mids and keep it that constant pressure, then uh, you can see like even like even that like that, like you will get a lot of knowledge out of that. It's like, boom, watch, just break it down. I don't know why it's fucking up right now. So I do apologize. Get the throw. You know what I'm saying? I'm a throw merchant and I do Sentai four, right? Doing Sentai 4, I think this is the last patch. So this is not the Eddie Gordo patch. So I don't know currently what the frame data is on it, but I think it's like plus four, right? So I'm plus four. So it's technically my turn to do something. Now, if the Yoshi Mitsu ducks and I do a jab, which is 10 frames, then I'm kind of fucked. But I could also do, I think, uh, down four one, which is a mid. But I think down four one is like, I want to say, I don't know what the frame data is on that. Can Is there a way? I could look that up real quick. I actually don't know what you're seeing right now currently. Okay, so you're still seeing. Okay, okay, okay. I'll bring it up if I can find it. Let's do it. Cause I mean, shit, I ain't did a YouTube video in a while. Let's do it. So. Let's see. I'll bring it over once I figure it out. So what was I saying? Like down forward one. What the fuck? Is that right? No. Oh, that's damage. Why is it? Start a frame. Jesus Christ. So it says the startup frame is 13 to 14 frames. So even then, like I, I think if I did down four one, if I'm plus four, I think at worst the Yoshi Mitsu would have had to do a jab immediately. And do we trade? No, it's one plus four. Yeah, we. I mean, worst case scenario, we trade. I guess. But it's 13 to 14, so I guess it depends on when I press it. Hmm. But you see what I'm saying? Like, oh, shit. I apologize. What I'm trying to say is like, I, nigga. What I'm trying to say is that I have all the options. I have all the choices. I have all the all things that whatever I want to do, right? Even if I want to do Sentai 3 plus 4 and do the low option, I still have that option because of the plus frame. And if I do low options, you're gonna have to respect it because obviously you can't. I mean, you could hop, but like, nigga, who are you? <laughs> like, not even Arsenal is doing that. But I, I have options. And then what did I end up doing? I did one one, and then one one is plus one. And a lot of people don't know that, but I mean, it's high high, so you, you could also duck it. And then there's one one two, and if I confirm one one two, if I hold forward, I'm in the Sentai. Then we rinse and repeat. I think Lotus already said that in this video, so shout out to Lotus. I don't want to like say like I came up this shit up top of my dome. I mean, hell no, red rank. Uh, 
Reina player, but you know what I'm saying? It's like once you figure out your plus frames and what you're able to utilize, because like before, the only thing I knew that was plus with Reina was our wild running. I think it's called, I, I'm going to say wild running. I'm sorry if I'm butchering it. It's the run version of three. So I don't want to say forward, forward, three or like four, 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 three. Uh, the wild running three is plus. And then that leads into all the options I was giving you before, but that's more easy to call out because unless you could do it from like this range, which there is players that can do it from this range, but um, kind of hard. And see, I think I end up doing it again. Plus frames. I don't know what I was thinking. I was trying to go for a hard read, thinking that he's going to press a button, but he didn't. I think I even said plus frames. That was a good sweep by him. I kept going high. I don't know because all this shit he was doing I that's actually I think that's why I stopped this I think that's why I stopped this because usually like when I record something I hit record based off of the last thing that happened so like it might have recorded the whole se session but I'm recording really what happened and that's why I hit it now I remember because yeah he was doing this hop shit so I'm thinking like oh I'm about to read the fuck out of him and smash this shit and then he smashed me pause that was crazy but yeah, what? What the fuck? I was so sad. But then I did that and I got lucky. We take those. <laughs> we take those. And then yeah, that that Yoshimitsu was fucking me up because he kept doing uh that one plus two throw, which I figured out is a one plus two break, and I, I was doing it, but I didn't get it. And then so this is gonna be the last set of this video. Um, yeah, this Oscar player, I ain't gonna lie, she was beating my ass. like. Look at that. Like, bruh, she was beating my ass. Cause I don't even know how to deal with this shit. This is bugging out. I don't want to hit too many controls because I do have the same controls on my OBS. So I don't want to like pause the recording or whatever. But, and she was beating my ass. She got the crumple state. And then this, I, I might have to lab this cause I don't know what to do if they're doing an unblockable move. Cause some I feel like are faster than others. And she's just spinning, so I didn't know what to do. She caught me. And then I gotta learn how to utilize uh, Reina's parry. Cause once I feel like, figure that out, I feel like that's just another tool in my arsenal. Uh, probably a bad tool to utilize, but like I said, I like I go for a lot of throws. But see, here again, here again, here again, here again. Hold on, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. I'm already stealing like what I, I would teach y'all in a video, but. Plus frames into into combo. What I need to do, and this is something I I struggle with, is because one one two or one one is hit confirmable to where you could visibly see it and confirm into two, and that leads into Sentai. But my problem is I'm always just trying to go for the plus frames because one one two is also like super punishable on block. I think it's like minus fifteen, so you could get launched. I believe. Matter of fact, since we got the site. I don't want to sound like a liar. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. One, one, two. One, one, two is minus 17. So it's super punishable on block. But it's plus 11 that leads into Sentai. Uh, so I I, tr I tried to 10, 10. I tried to trend on, on being safe than what I am. But then that leads into a lot of situations to where I'm like doing one one and I'm trying to go for throw or I'm trying to like steal another turn when I already got the hit confirm and I just didn't confirm the hit. It's a like some good good damage. Cause like I don't know, I'm assuming one one two probably leads to Sentai three. I'm not true I'm not too sure on true combos right now. But yeah. So like once you get that like thing that's like plus, but you can also hit confirm it, I think utilize that, get you a good low. Um it's something good to ch challenge with both like i utilize power crush i feel like power crush saves me in a lot of situations but you want to use it to where you're saved rather than using it to to, to use it to where if you want to like be disrespectful i guess like in the way i look at the way i as a as a red rank reina player that's trash look at power crush if you're trying to get to red rank I look at it as a reversal, like a DP, whatever have you. Now, if you're going against a character that does a lot of lows, like a, it's like a Paul, or it's like a Jin, or like Kazuya got some crazy lows, then not you know obviously be careful because Power Crush loses the lows. But if you can use utilize it as a get off me tool, like then you're good. And like ah, the Oscar player kept doing that string, 
and I could have parried that, or I could have I could have just done so many more options. I just literally waited to block that and didn't even punish it properly. So I was always kind of mad at myself for that. Can't tell that four four two man. I love that button. I, that's why I ugh, I can't get into my second patch uh, details and information. He was holding down. I think oh that did not whiff. I would say those heat activators, those are so scary. I think you're dead here. Yeah, bam. I'll take that trade. Because I think I ended up losing the, the first game. And I was like, hold on, let me lock in. Then I finally locked in, won the second game. And then I think this is, yeah, this is the third and final game. But you saw how much of points I barely got. Like, I think she's early orange. And I'm like last orange. Yeah, she's 12, I'm 14. And I barely got any points for that. That's the only thing. I like I have no problem playing like lower, higher, whatever. But it's just the fact that you barely get any points for winning. I mean, you're supposed to win, so I, I get it, but it's just like we're both orange, right? So how the fuck can you gauge that she earned this much more? I can see I, I can see higher up ranks. Like say after purple or like blue, because the blue has literally like four slots, I believe. I can see that. That makes sense to me. But like, nigga, orange? That's kind of crazy. But I digress. You know, the whole time I was recording this and my mic might be on, I would cry. Okay, my right time. Cool. Sorry, I did not pay attention all around. I was kind of yapping. And I try, I try to do just different stuff, which I don't, for my current rank, I don't think it's the worst case of world but the higher up you go i think backdashing would probably be your best bet sometimes i don't even mean to do that while rising uh one but you just get up yeah that was a good punish it's very often it's very few and far between that i get a whiff punish and taking but like when i get one that shit is satisfying yeah she kept doing that that was fucking with me too i think that's why i would like do some like like you're seeing like this is what six eight this is the ninth round start that we've had against each other so like she kept doing like shit like that and so that that was fucking me up too i probably could have got a jab dash into that i probably could have did more damage yeah that stuff my wild rising not wild rising my running three low kneecaps once i yeah once i get them kneecaps man that shit's fun i wonder Let's see. Because that, that's down for two. I apologize if I'm not looking at the screen. So down for two leaves me plus 30 on hit. Hmm. I wonder if I, I could jail that into something. Like if I'm, well, it also has parentheses plus 20. So I don't know what the parentheses mean. But like, but I did do that into a jab if I hit you and then you try to mash. I wonder. Anyway. And like I said, I use that power crush like it's a DP. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to use a power crush. I really don't know why you're supposed to use how you're supposed to use a power crush, but that's that's how I use it. I kind of use it as a get off me tool. Or if I really just smell blood in the water and I got you like close to the corner and I really want to just keep applying pressure. I guess this is the same as a DP, but I, 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 I use that power crush. That power crush is probably gonna get me to purple. I'm not gonna hold you. <laughs> and I'm working on my electric. Still don't know how to do electrics. Like if I can get consistent, if I can get consistent with my movement and my electrics, I feel like my arena just shoots up like just off those two alone. And an unsnip nut. That was the Steve player that I fought. And I ain't gonna lie, Steve has been my kryptonite. Like, shout out to JBS again. Like, JBS has helped me battle with uh, Steve. Steve has been the character. And like I said, if you're a Reina player, man, that down four two around start, that shit is good. As long as they're not pressing the button, they press the button, obviously you gonna get beat. But like, if they're trying to backdash, nigga, you know how many backdashes I've caught. It's kind of crazy. Our crash right into the running three, or maybe not running three, but four four three. It's so crazy how many, like, I guess 
He, I, I don't. So I get heat dash. Is heat burst activation? And, or, and then there's a heat engager, which puts you in heat. But like, it's so crazy to me how many like the heat burst moves fucking just put you in a stance. That shit's so scary. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm talking shit because like I play Reyna, so like I know it's scary for that too, but damn. Oh yeah, that's side step four too. That's good too. I love that. I could have optimized the fuck up the combo here. I still did a good job, but I could have like I could have saved that because I probably could have did a regular one plus two, got the break, did dash, or like a jab into. I could have optimized the fuck out of that. I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Like every time I look at this replay and see that, I try to go low there, but he ended up blocking it. That was a perfect going too. Yeah, I had a perfect. He was ready for the low. Shout out to the power crush on that too. That that one plus two. I guess it's not one plus two. It's like one quarter circle forward two. And yeah, shit's good too. That shit's good. I think the thing that like I'm even telling myself, like I'm one more, I'm breathing heavy. Like you hear, I got the chill button podcast going on in the background. I see the promotion mats. My eyes are getting big. I'm nervous. I'm over here going through it. I'm like, locky, locky. Oh, this is all, like this is all I wanted. Cause I thought this would be the rank that I get to where I start struggling. Like I really start playing Tekken. But the fact that I had to start playing Tekken prior to that rank, not I'm not gonna say it's crazy. It's just like I like once I got platinum in Street Fighter Six, it was kind of easy to get platinum with other characters. Like I got it with like Guile. I got it with like I got it with Guile, Cammy, Ken, Luke. I'm trying to think if there's anyone else I played. I don't think there's anyone else I played that I try. I feel like there is one more character I tried, but I can't remember off the top of my head. I haven't played Street Fighter in a while. But like I I thought that's where I was like, okay, now I'm about to start playing the game. But uh. I want to know what percentile I'm in. I think I'm in like over 50 percent percentile, which feels good. Feels amazing. Like Tekken's fun. I ain't gonna lie. I am having a lot of fun with this Tekken. That's just why I'm kind of disappointed with how the patch dropped and like they changed it. Like they changed tornadoes. Like nigga, that is crazy to me. Like I feel like I'm still not utilizing tornadoes in my combo like appropriately. And then for y'all to sit there and just change that shit, it's just mind boggling. Goes in the stance. I was kind of smart to do the parry there, but I didn't. I I still don't understand how the parry works. Like I know you press it and she gets hit and she like kind of comes back, but I don't know. I don't even know what stance it puts you in. I think it puts you in heavens, but I still have to utilize that. Yeah, he sold here. I was so happy he sold. I don't know if I was gonna get the dash up throw or not, but. Cause there's been times where I try to punish a rage art with like a, a down four two and not get the down four two. So like, I just go fuck it. Like I don't want it no more. <laughs> so the fact that I was able to get a throw and then, yes, yeah, sir. I got that shit, man. I got that shit. I was so happy. I want purple. I think I can get purple. Just the rank grind is going to be hard. Cause I don't, I'm, I've, I kind of fluctuate like what I've been doing with, cause it was hard for me to get the yellow. It was hard for me to get the orange, right? But once I got to yellow and I got to orange, I got the first two easy. Like once I started striving and grinding, I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. But once I started getting it, I like got it and I understood it. I completed the mission. And then it was like, I got to the third rank and then I just stayed stuck in the third rank. So I think if I could get to purple, but Reyna, I think I could. Harong, I don't know. Eddie, I don't know. But I, I know I could get to purple with Reyna. I think I can even get to blue if I really locked in and learned second. But like once I once I get I could get purple knowing what I know now. Um I am getting help from J Beast. J Beast has been a, a tremendous help when it comes to like learning these characters to some degree. He even like gave me some amazing resources. There's like a Google Docs resource. It's like a Tekken 8 Google Docs resource. It's pretty good. It gives you combos, it gives you like plus, it gives you power crushes, heat versus all that stuff. Um, but like to get to blue, I'm about to actually learn Tekken. Like I learn all the characters, which is kind of intimidating for a nigga that works two nine to fives. But I love it. I love it. I'm, I am having fun. Uh, I have thoughts and opinions on the patch, which I might drop in a video. But I, I am having fun. That's how I got the red rank. Like I said before, and I say it again. 
I, I, I'm kind of stealing what other people said. So I, you know, I definitely watch Lotus. I watch FDX. I watch uh, K Swiss. Uh, Speed Kicks is a pretty good one. I watch his streams. If you want like true Tekken fundamentals and how how to to you know learn the game, but if you want the long story short, <laughs> if you watch this video to this point, I love y'all. But if, if you really just want the simples, get you a good low, get you a good launcher, figure out what your plus things are, and but figure out what your plus things are that are easy to implement. Like if your plus thing is like a low, but it's like. Like for safe for some reason, it's like a low from a stance, but it's hard to get into the stance without using a button to turn into the stance. Like the, like I wouldn't utilize that. I would use like like one 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 is plus one, and then forward four is like plus two. Um, those are just good things to implement as far as like Reina goes. You know what I'm saying? Like. A one one goes into one one two one one two goes into sentai sentai goes into sentai four which is plus four and then you just build up on that like get just get you whatever your plus frame is you know what i'm saying you're down four two or you're down four three you're down four four depending on the character i think eddie's is down four three that's his launcher you know i'm saying figure out that launcher figure out a good combo figure out a good combo to to end with the heat figure out a heat dash combo get you one of those Get you one of those because like sometimes the characters just be uh, on the ground so get you something that you can hit them while they on the ground like a good combo i think it's like rain is like four plus one well, not four plus one but four one um shoot some of those and you just build upon that like it, it's it's very there's a lot of moves and there's a lot of things you could do and implement into your game but you got to figure out how to use them and why you're using them and i think that's the thing that tech and people struggle with is because they, they think that i have all these moves so i have to use all these moves not necessarily it's good to use them like because like what i'd be doing now is like before i would use like i think all the new characters have a string where they do all twos right so it's like two 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 it's like four twos right but now what i've been doing is like if i do two 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 like three two, if i do twos and it stops at the third two i know this is gonna sound stupid but hear me out. If I stop at the third two, I could do one that pops up. And actually, it's pretty good. It re spins them for a tornado while I learned in combos too for all the Reina players out there. I could do that. Or I could do two, two, two into three into one, one. I think it's three, three. But it's, it's the same. So for all the Reina players out there, it's the same animation as doing back one, one, three, three. But after doing the twos into three, if you do the ones, you go into that animation. So it's a good way to implement a low. So especially if they're holding mid, they're not trying to get hit by the, and you do it low and then you go into the mids again. Like, but you see how like we build it upon that. Like, cause you could just do something simple as just do all twos. But now I do twos into the last one being one. And now I launch you because I'm I'm doing an uppercut or I do all the twos into a three. Now I'm doing a low. Like you see how you just build upon something so simple. Like you take something simple, just add to it. And that's pretty much fighting games in a nutshell. And I mean, you get it's it's, it's the Bruce Lee thing. It's like I fear the man that does a thousand kicks, the same kick a thousand times rather than the man that has a thousand kicks. He only does once. It's like you just build upon this little game plan and the, the world is your oyster. But enough yapping for this video. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably gonna be a raw, no condom edit. Cause I just felt like a podcast like thing. If y'all want more videos like this, or y'all want more edited videos, or y'all want more gameplay videos, let me know. 